Oh my god, guys. This one's going to be so long. Uh. Hello everybody, I'm Anne, I collect cookbooks. Welcome to my personal hell of not being able to buy any cookbooks, no matter how much I want it, <laughs> before I finish cooking from every single one of my 114 volumes. So today's book is Fresh Indian from Sunil Vijayka. Um, it was a request from a friend of mine called Casey. Thank you, Casey, for your suggestion. Vegetarian Indian food. Very, very good. Very easy to find in this book in particular. Um, I decided to take it a little bit more seriously. Okay, maybe not. I decided to kick up my cooking a little bit. I decided to cook these videos. I decided to kick these videos up a notch in line with International Women's Day to show you that women can do anything including cook six things in one afternoon crying and screaming the whole time but we can do it I sort of wanted this video to come out as sort of an homage to two of the strongest women that I know my mom and also my godmother so my mother um, she steams food a lot like her go-to cooking method is steaming which you know I like it I'm in for it but uh, one of the things that she does that I really really remember and I really really love uh, was when we were children we would go to my grandmother's house I would wake up if we stayed over I would wake up and go down and I remember her very distinctly cooking pancakes in the kitchen so I decided to um, go with a dosa bread which is like a sort of like a pancakey Indian bread that's not really fried not even pan fried per se but it's just slowly cooked on the surface of a of a non-stick pan and that's sort of my homage to my mom for my aunt, I decided to go with a cucumber curry, which doesn't make sense because cucumbers for me are not meant to be cooked. They're meant to be eaten on their own as like, you know, finger food with dips or <laughs> or in sandwiches, you know, like a pickle. I like the idea of cooking a cucumber to me is just why? But when I was younger, my aunt, she used to cook this cucumber dish. <laughs> Um, it was basically like braised cucumbers with prawns. I suspect it was a way to stretch our ringgit, make it go further. Um, but I was a really, really horrible kid and I one day I told her I hated it and she stopped cooking it and I, to this day I still feel really bad about it. So this is my public apology. <laughs> More I fucked up. Um, yeah, so... I cooked those two things. I also made a sort of vegetable stew curry thing and two dips. Yeah, that totals up to six things. Join me in the kitchen. Look, whether you like it or not, cooking a whole meal is going to require some preparation, which is why I decided to do the dosa first. So you start off with some fenugreek. Toast it first if you find you're having problems grinding it to dust. I did off screen because this video is long enough and you don't need to see me sob in despair as bits of fenugreek fly and stubborn refusal to just freaking grind. Next up, gather up some rice flour and slowly, torturously, with some difficulty, just a little bit. Get out about a cup's worth. And then watch as I once again defer to the great Jacques Pepin, cracking the egg on the surface of a table before remembering, oh no, I don't know how much egg I need for this. But ultimately, I take the leap, as does the egg yolk. Haha. -ha. Add some oil, salt about quarter teaspoons worth of baking powder your fenugreek and then slowly pour in cold water and whisk until you get the consistency of heavy cream you want every flour molecule hydrated for this so you're gonna need to refrigerate it for four hours 
which will give you plenty of time to get to the other things. So you cut up the pumpkin or your pumpkin curry while silently crying at the injustice of not finding any pre-cut ones this time around. And once again, I'm triggering people with my laissez-faire attitude to chopping. I'm sorry, Borna. Once you're done with that, you're going to gather all of your pumpkin cubes up and put it into a large enough pot with about two cups of water and add maybe a teaspoon each of smoked paprika and another teaspoon of turmeric and go back to your mortar and pestle and I know, I know mine is way too small I definitely need a new one or a bigger one so if anybody wants to carry one up to my house Paul Child style I'm quite at my leisure so grind together your shredded coconut and cumin seeds and chip that into your pumpkin curry Next up, you want to toast together some thinly sliced chili, curry leaves, and mustard seeds. Wait for them to pop. That's a very hearty sizzle. And after that, you're going to pour this over your curry right before serving with lots of coriander of course next up we're gonna prep the veggies for our mixed veggie and coconut stew and that means you gotta trim the green beans basically this means pulling all the stringy bits off which can actually get really really satisfying if you get the right amount of stringage like so and another one Cut them in half before proceeding, chop your carrot, zucchini, and also a potato into batons. This recipe also calls for thinly sliced green chilies and red onion. Both of which you're going to saute with some mustard seeds and also some curry leaves. Let that go for a little while. And then add the veggies. Once again, making sure to use a large enough pot, which I never seem to be able to do. <laughs> Add some water. Some gorgeous creamy coconut milk. Then squeeze in half a lemon. Add in some poppy seeds and then give it a quick stir before slamming on the lid with more force than necessary. <laughs> While that bubbles, finally chop some cilantro, stir it in, and you're ready to serve. This is really good for any day in which you feel poorly or sad or just you know you need something soupy
Now for the cucumber and coconut curry, you want to coarsely dice two cucumbers in preparation. They don't need to look too great or anything, which is my way of saying I'm not the best at <laughs> chopping things neatly, so bear with me. Once you have your mountain of cucumber, you're going to get some mustard seeds popping in the pan. And once they're ready, add some cumin and curry leaves. Let that go for a bit before adding a paste that you've pounded together with tamarind, chili, and coconut. And you want to stir fry the cucumber until they're just cooked but still crunchy because you don't want it to be mushy. Once you're done, which should be about six minutes or so, plate up. Top with a bit more shredded coconut, and we're good to go on to our next dish, which is a coriander, mint, and coconut chutney. So what I'm putting into my stat blender is a mix of coriander, mint, green chilies, ginger garlic, cashew nuts, shredded coconut, plain yogurt, salt, sugar, and a little bit of amchur, which is basically dried mango powder. Squeeze in some lemon juice and let it rip. Fresh tomato relish that we'll do last is super easy. Find them in some red onion, green chilies, garlic, coriander, and then dice up some ripe red tomatoes. And stir everything together with some salt and lime juice. Now set that aside because it's dosa time. I wouldn't recommend doing this without a non-stick pan because with a non-stick pan, you can sort of count on it going loose with a little bit of mild persuasion. And when that fails, employ extreme aggression. You don't want to cook them too long. These are meant to be tender and cakey. And oh boy, these are definitely tender and cakey. I'm not gonna lie, I totally, totally, totally enjoy the cucumber. I'm ready to give my aunt's recipe another go. So as to the dosé, they were so good. I'm gonna be honest, I totally flubbed the recipe. The measuring cup that I had was not big enough and the recipe says we need four cups of flour to one egg and then you just add water until it gets the consistency you want. I pretty much only used one cup of flour and I used the whole egg. I mean, granted it was a smaller egg, you just got it. I have a feel for it and I think I had a feel for it today aka I was really lucky measure your ingredients so thank you very much for hanging out with me all this time as I cook and learn and um, mess up in the kitchen which I do a lot sorry um, but thank you please consider following consider subscribe consider liking this video and consider sending in your very own request and I will take a look until then happy International Women's Day and to all the women that I know and love you're all amazing have a good one celebrate yourselves paint your nails get a massage have a good coffee enjoy a croissant see y'all next time